Right, the World Health Organization head, Dr. Tedros Ghebreyesus, is visiting several facilities in the Western Cape today. Let's get more on this. We crossed him our, report, our, our reporter, rather, SABC News. This is Bulilani Philip. A very good afternoon to you, Bulilani. Just give us an insight into what's happening there. Uh, good afternoon to you, Zinga, and to the viewers at home. I'm coming to you just outside at the Crossroads Health Center, which is the third stop uh, that uh, Dr. Tedro is uh, making. Of course, uh, this is just a community health care center that has integrated vaccination with other routine health care facilities. And uh, he's just been given a tour of the facility in terms of how they are and I'm administering the vaccination uh, in, in conjunction with other healthcare services. He's got a packed day and uh, ultimately at about four o'clock uh, this afternoon, he's set to deliver uh, a press conference uh, to some of us uh, while uh, following him uh, in Stellenbosch. And later this evening, uh, we are told that he will be meeting uh, President Cyril Ramaphosa. Nzinga? Bulalani, we also know that uh, the health minister is there and there's a large South African contingent. Can you tell us more about the people who are accompanying Dr. Gebrasius uh, from his side and from the South African side as well? Well, uh, I believe that he was welcomed this morning uh, by the health minister, Dr. Joe Pata, as well as the higher education and science and technology minister, uh, Minister Blades, the mind. But of course, uh, they were doing a courtesy call on him. But uh, on his journey and visiting uh, here in Cape Town, uh, he's been accompanied uh, by the deputy higher education and training uh, minister, uh, Putimana Mela, as well as the deputy health minister, Dr. Mm -hmm. Simon. So those are the two high power delegation that are accompanying him here uh, in Cape Town as he makes his way in all the vaccination sites uh, that will be undertaking this uh, manufacturing hub uh, program. You'll remember that uh, this is Africa's first program that will be trying to actually get a new vaccine and uh, this vaccine is hoped that uh, it will be actually distributed not just in Africa but also to the rest of the world and uh, the World Health Organization says uh, they've taken the step uh, of giving uh, this uh, test trials uh, to South Africa given that they have uh, quite a developed uh, research capacity as well as the infrastructure and uh, they were quite pleased with the proposals that were put uh, to the WHO and they are hoping that uh, as they continue with this uh, construct vaccine uh, it will take uh, quite a, a short period of time to actually get to clinical trials and uh, they are hopeful that uh, as time goes on, we'll get to finality so that uh, the developing countries can actually also take a firm stand uh, and call, make a contribution to the vaccine rollout. Of course, earlier, speaking to the chief scientist of the World Health Organization, uh, we put to her the question whether, you know, how far or what is the landscape looking like uh, for a new variant uh, coming uh, into the picture. She's saying that uh, as things stand now, Nothing is certain of how things go, but uh, they do expect that there will be new variants which are more uh, serious uh, going forward. But uh, they are urging uh, people, not just here in South Africa, in Africa, but uh, to the rest of the world, that uh, people must go for their vaccination. Zinga? My colleague, Bulerani Philip, giving us an update there from the Western Cape. As he says, there's going to be a press conference a little bit later on, and he will give us more details from there.